want to root your phone in 2026, then you are on the right place because I am going to teach you how you can root your phone. It doesn't matter which phone are you using. This method will work on every brand's smartphone, like Google, Samsung, Xiaomi, Poco, Motorola, and other. I know that Others is doing root via TWRP, but TWRP is not available for every phone. We are root your phone without TWRP. Even though I am using this Google Pixel 6a for the demonstration today, patching the boot image remains exactly the same. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. The very first thing we need to do is prepare the phone software to communicate with our computer. Head over to your settings, scroll all down and tap on About Phone. Here, you're looking for the build number. Now. Give that build number seven quick taps. You'll see a pop-up notification saying, you are now a developer. Perfect. Now, back out and go to system, then developer options. In here, you need to make sure your OEM unlocking is enabled. If this is grayed out, it usually means your bootloader is already unlocked or your carrier has it restricted. For this process to work, an unlocked bootloader is a prerequisite. Also, and this is crucial, ensure USB debugging is toggled on. This allows our PC to send commands to the phone. Just to show you where we are starting from, I've downloaded an app called Root Checker Basic from the Play Store. As you can see, when I hit Verify Root, it clearly states that root access is not properly installed on this device. This is our before picture. By the end of this video, we're going to turn that red X into a green check mark. Now, let's go get our tools. Open up Chrome and search for Magisk GitHub. Always, and I mean always, download Magisk from the official repository by Top John Wu. There are a lot of fake sites out there that look official, but could contain malware. Look for the latest release. Currently, we're looking at version 30.6 and download the APK file. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and install it. You might get a warning from PlayProtect because it's a powerful system tool, but you can safely bypass that. Open Magisk and you'll see that under the Magisk heading, it says installed n slash a. That's because we haven't patched the system yet. This is the step where most people get confused, but it's actually quite simple. To root, Magisk needs to patch file a specific file from your phone's official firmware called the boot.img, or in some newer devices, the init underscore boot.img. You need to go to your manufacturer's website, for example. If you have a Samsung phone, you will have to visit this website. And if you have a OnePlus phone, you will have to visit this website. And if you have a Xiaomi or Redmi phone, you will have to visit this website. And if you have a Pixel phone, you will have to visit this website. And if you have a Motorola phone, you will have to visit this website. If you have a phone from any other company other than these, then you can do a Google search and download the exact factory image or fast boot ROM that matches your current build number. For this pixel, I'm going to the Google Play Services developer page and looking for the BlueJ firmware, which is the code name for the Pixel 6a. Once you download that big zip file, extract it on your computer or phone until you find that boot.img file. I've already moved mine onto the phone's internal storage for the next step. Now, let's head back into the Magisk app, tap on Install next to Magisk, and then choose Select and Patch a File. This will open your file manager. Navigate to wherever you saved that boot.img file we just talked about. 
select it, and then hit Let's Go. Majisk is now working its magic. It's literally deconstructing that boot image, injecting the root binaries, and then putting it back together. You'll see a bunch of text scrolling by, and finally, it will say All Done. It will save a new file in your downloads folder, usually named something like Magisk, underscore patched, followed by some random letters. This is the golden ticket. This is the file that will give us root. Now, we need to move that patched file from the phone over to our computer. I usually just use a USB cable and copy it to my desktop. All right, it's showtime. Connect your phone to the PC, open a command prompt or terminal in your platform tools folder. Type ADB devices to make sure your phone is recognized. You should see a serial number pop up. Now, type ADB reboot bootloader. Your phone will restart into a screen with a lot of technical text. This is the fast boot mode. Once there, type fast boot devices to confirm the connection. Now, the big moment. Now we need to unlock our bootloader. To do this, type the command fast boot, flashing unlock, and hit enter. When the message is finished, confirm it on the phone screen. Use the volume keys to select unlock bootloader. Congratulations, the bootloader is unlocked. Now it's time to install the Magisk patched file. To do this, boot your phone into fast boot mode again. After entering fast boot mode, Type the command fastboot devices into your command prompt. If the serial number is displayed, confirm the connection. Now, type fastboot flashboot underscore A and then drag and drop that patched Magisk file into the window to autofill the path. For some newer phones like this Pixel, you might need to flash it to both slots. So I'm doing fastboot flashboot underscore A and fastboot flashboot underscore B. Once it says OK, type Fastboot Reboot. The phone is booting back up. The first boot after flashing might take an extra minute, so don't panic. Once we're back on the home screen, let's go back into the Magisk app. Look at that. Under Installed, it now shows the version number instead of N slash A root access is properly installed. You are now the master of your device. You can install powerful modules, delete system bloatware, and customize your phone like never before. But for the final proof, let's open Root Checker Basic one more time. Tap, verify root, grant the super user request that Magisk pops up. This is the most important part. And there it is, a big green check mark. Congratulations. If this guide helped you out, hit that like button and subscribe for more tech deep dives. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.